in this equation we see that we have n here but it's stuck inside of brackets and we have this minus 3 outside that we would have to distribute so be careful we don't want to take 1 minus 3 and then distribute and think of our last unit with our um, combining like terms and dealing with expressions so we only want to distribute what's being um, what's attached with the bracket so we would have then 1 minus 3 n minus 15 equals negative 8. Now we look here we see our variable is negative is n and with it negative 3 n so we want to isolate that variable. If there's anything on the same side of the equal sign that we can combine that we can com put together we'd want to do that first. So 1 minus 15 or negative 15 plus 1 gives us negative 14 so we have negative 3 n minus 14 equals negative 8. Now we don't have anything that can combine, no like terms on the same side of the equal sign, so now we're ready to undo our steps. So we're going to have plus 14 on both sides, plus 14. Negative 3n equals a positive 6. We undo the multiplication by dividing both sides, and we need to divide by whatever is with n. So we have to divide by negative 3. If we don't divide by negative 3, it would leave a negative, and we wouldn't just get n equals. We would get negative n equals. So divide both sides by negative 3. We get that n equals negative 2. To check our work, we want to plug it back in into our original equation, 1 minus 3 times negative 2 plus 5. And our order of operations says inside the brackets first, 3, 1 minus 3 times 3. Here we have 9, and 1 minus 9 would give us negative 8, which is what we wanted to have. So we have our solution, n equals negative 2.